Hello and welcome to another Scratch Tutor tutorial and today we're going to be making a four-way scrolling game. I'm going to create a project. The first thing you're going to want to do is create the player. Take a circle and then press shift to make a, to make a perfect, uh, perfect circle. Uh, now let's make the map. So I'm gonna make a little map, and I'll be back in a second. So welcome back. I made just this little thing. Um, you should totally make your own thing. But so we're gonna do a click. We're gonna have this go to front. Just to make sure. And now we're gonna do the main script. So we're gonna say make a variable. We're gonna make an x variable and make a y variable. And we're gonna say when green flag clicked, control forever if key W W pressed then change Y by, by negative 5 now we're gonna duplicate that we're gonna say if key S pressed change Y by 5 let's actually duplicate this entire thing and we're gonna say if key A and D then A change X and D change X okay so now we're also going to add a costume and we're gonna draw in one pixel. There we go. So I'm gonna say when green flag clicks, switch costume to costume two, set size to five hundred percent, and then switch switch costume to costume one. Let's see. Is that a good size? Um and then actually we're gonna say set X to X set Y to Y and set Y to zero set X to zero. We're actually gonna want to reverse these. We're gonna say five and negative five. Okay, perfect. So now we should hit this. Um, I think this looks like a good size. There's a build. I added some buildings. There's a lake, some trees. Okay, so we have this, and you should be able to move around. Now, the second thing I'm gonna add is I'm gonna make it so you can it like stops you from running into a building. So we're going to duplicate this sprite, and we're going to set it to complete black. And then, um, we're gonna say when we side clicked, forever. Go to zero zero. Then we're gonna take this code. We're gonna put it in here. We're gonna say if key W pressed, then move, then change Y by ten. Key S pressed, pressed, then <laughs> change Y by negative ten. Change X by ten. And change x by negative 10 and we're gonna make a variable called can go then we're gonna say if sense in touching color black we're actually gonna we, we want to make sure this isn't black so let's make this gray okay uh, a nice trick you, that you can do is you can set it to something that's almost black like that um, or even, you know, even a little bit darker. Um, I'm gonna say if touching color black, then set can go to no. Um, and then we're actually gonna say if else, and we're gonna say if touching color black, set can go to no, else, set can go to yes. So. Put that in there. Put 
that in there. Duplicate this. Okay, so we should have this code. Now, let's test this out. And actually, we're gonna wanna say ghost effects, effect, when green flag clicked to um, 99%. Okay, and then we're gonna add set can go to yes at the top. Now we're gonna go into here and we're gonna say if can go equals no, then we're gonna change y by five. So click this, say negative five. Let's duplicate this, say x negative five, and let's duplicate this, and we're gonna say x five. So now. <coughs> When we go and we hit here, it will stop you from going there. Um, I'm actually going to change this to five, just to make sure, just to make it so you can get a little closer to the building, because right now it's kind of you're far away. Like, okay, here we go. So, okay, perfect. So now you shouldn't be able to. Uh, yeah, okay, you can't get into this building now. Um. Okay, uh, now next let's add trees, and so we'll just duplicate this, and we'll say, or, if touching color black, or touching color brown, so let's duplicate this and put it in all of here, and now it should stop you then too. So the next thing we're going to add is some hands, so I'm going to duplicate this sprite, and I'm gonna go in here, and then I'm gonna draw in two little hands, and then I'm gonna call them in. Okay. I'm gonna delete this, and I'm gonna say, wing click and click, go to front, forever, point towards mouse pointer, and, and then go to zero, zero. Okay, so now the guy has some hands. There you go. Um, okay. Now the last thing I'm going to add is I'm going to make it so you can go into these buildings. So, I'm going to add a door. Okay, so now I'm in the door. I'm going to say one green flag clicked. Um, forever go to set x to and set y to so, so set x to to x plus um uh, x plus um 20 25 there we go and set y to y plus 45 Okay, so we're gonna say x to x plus 24, 25, and y to y plus 4, 45. So now we have the door that stays there. Uh, and uh, we're also gonna add, we're gonna wanna add this. So we're gonna add a rim around the edge. Okay, so we're gonna add this script to it. I'm gonna say when green flag click, go to x0, y0, and forever go to front. Okay. So, and we can actually hide these variables. So now, you can go up here, but you can't see the draw. Um, okay. So now I should be able to go in here. And let's say, um, when touching, uh, forever, if touching, if touching, go, sprite five, and actually let's name these, let's go, player, land, sensor, hands, door one, and edge. Okay, so now for door one, we're going to say, if touching door one, then 
we're gonna make a sprite and we're gonna have it say press space to go inside okay and we're gonna say when I receive so when green flag clicked forever hide when I receive message one show and we'll change this to door door um now the player is going to say if touching door one then broadcast door so let's try this again okay so it's not shown now when you get here okay per press space to go inside now now I have to make it if you press space so if touching door then if key space press then broadcast and let's just make a message that say house one. House one load. Okay. Right. And that's what we're gonna do for now. Um so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you next video. This is gonna be part one of like a five part five part series depending on how much support you guys give so so your support with the like button and thank you and bye